Robo Woman is a sci-fi adventure story so intense you'll feel like you've overdosed on Botox and lip injections. Prepare yourself for 110 minutes of hot garbage. Meet Vivica Stevens, a 66-year-old 30-something in the prime of her golden years. It's the last day on the job for Vivica. We don't get to know where she worked, but we do know two things. First, this Don Juan is really into plastic surgery addicted senior citizens. And second, there's a lot of karate on the walls. After denying Don Juan Potato a date every week for years, she finally gives in on her last day. Why? Because Potato's special needs brother has a birthday. Would she like to come? Yes, yeah, she would. Vivica has a special place in her heart for special needs people because the only thing that isn't plastic about her is her heart. On the way to the date, Don Juan Potato leads her through the park in complete darkness. You doing okay? Can't, I don't know, I can't see anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's Where are we black. going? Yeah, how much further do we have to go? This is like a Scooby-Doo thing with her eyes gonna like pop open all you see is the oh whites of her eyes. I <laughs> Suddenly, Vivica is attacked and left for dead in an attempt to make her have a compelling origin story. She's stabbed twice, pepper sprayed in the eyes, and manages to blindly send a cryptic text for help to her roommate, who's apparently tracking her phone in a completely not creepy way. Between being rescued and arriving what looks like a third world trauma station in a used store it, she's apparently chewed off her own arm and lost both eyes because how else will she qualify for a robot arm and a sweet Geordie LaForge visor? Seriously, what happened to her arm? In an attempt to save Vivica's life, her ex-bodybuilding roommate gives Dr. Facelift the go-ahead with the procedure to make her an unstoppable killing machine. And then, pizza. To deal with her trauma, Vivica seeks out cinema's greatest martial arts master to teach her the skills she'll need to murder not only her attackers, but also random people in her apartment's parking lot, for reasons the filmmaker decided to leave up to the audience's imagination. Get ready for a movie that features extended establishing shots, action obscured by actors standing in the way, more establishing shots, walking shots bordering on establishing shots, all of this stumbles head first and face plants into the final act where Vivica kills her attackers and then, from remorse, trauma, or bad writing, rips a giant circuit board from the back of her head, committing suicide. Or did she? In the act of purest optimism, the director sets up the potential sequel. Vivica is taken back to the Ustorit Triage Center, where she is now property of a mysterious organization as their new superweapon. Roll credits. Starring Donna Lee Heising as Plastic Woman, Sue Price as the bodybuilding roommate with inexplicable power of attorney over her best friend, Mel Novak as that doctor who once had a human face, and a cameo appearance by 80s B movie scream queen Brink Stevens, tacked on at the very end of the film so they can have a semi famous name on the promotional material. Robo Woman.